Hello all. Um, so yeah, today I'm going to be presenting uh, mainly about mapping bike, bike infrastructure. I know it's not the only sustainable transportation method, but it's uh, it's uh, it's most exciting for, for me. Um, so uh, we're going to mainly be talking about uh, using open data and with OSM to enhance biking data on uh, OSM or other platforms. So I really like uh, the, the, the cycle map, uh, the cycle base map that OSM provides. It provides actually a better um, bicycle, bicycle routing um, than the, the New York City uh, DOT official map um, because all these uh, bike lanes are refreshed like the instant, uh, the instant they, th they get built um, rather than the, the DOT being uh, like yearly or, or monthly. So I uh, really prefer this map over others. On this map, there's other interesting features that we kind of really like. Um, so uh, in the case of bicycle parking, uh, that's really been what I've been doing for the last couple of uh, months, just hammering down where bicycle parking is. Um, but also uh, there's also bicycle, bicycle shops that are really important and also other amenities like toilet benches and other like things that you probably want to use um, when you're cycling uh, either across the city or across the nation. Um, so it's very useful. Um, so I'm going to be mainly talking about New York City um, open data and using New York City open data to kind of augment um, uh, the, the, the bicycle infrastructure um, details on OSM. So um, uh, as bike travel, as bicycle travel um, has been increasing um, as a mode, um, there has been re really a ton of data sets to capture this data. Um, in New York City, we have these manual and automated counters every year. Um, it's this is a wonderful chart showing uh, the bridge crossing trips in 2019, and you can see it's it's ever increasing um, over the the warmer days and the warmer months. So uh, th this. This data set is a, an official New York City open data set, and I'll show you what the columns are. But essentially, there are sensors on each side of the bridge and on some selected um, streets um, that kind of count bicycles and kind of help the DOT to kind of record this kind of type of data. In OSM, um, you can kind of record these and monitoring stations uh, using man made um, and then monitor, monitoring colon bicycle, yes. Um, however, we haven't really transitioned the open data set over to. Um, Open street map. So there's only three of them in Manhattan, while they're the official data set, which is the bicycle counters data set, has I think uh, 39 ish. And then uh, the bicycle counters have like a unique ID kind of linked to, um, to the bicycle counts. I think it updates every 15 minutes. So you can get that granularity of how many bicycles cross the bridge or in certain roads. Um, this again, it's, it's an open data set that, that, that can be augmented with. with uh, um, open street map, but also it's itself. Um, there's been systems of dock, uh, dockless and dock bicycle sharing that provides riders uh, with a means to switch modes um, from, from trains and buses, but it can also replace like less leg trips and also replace whole trips in, in total. Um, so uh, it can really kind of elevate uh, communities to travel around sustainability, uh, sustainably. Um, so uh, officially, um, this data is released in, um, well, New, the New York City City Bike data set is released uh, via like a bunch of zip files on, on AWS, and you kind of generate these wonderful charts showing the ridership kind of increasing in New York City. Um, there is a point data set um, that can be derived from the GBFS uh, formats um, that will give you the locations of these stations and that can eventually be import to OSM. Um, and then also interestingly enough, they kind of adopt uh, the hours and dates of operation um, from OSM uh, so they can get uh, a granularity of when these stations are open or closed. So another connection between open data and OSM. Um, while City Bike is a really good or other bicycle sharing um, modes are very, fairly good um, to kind of elevate uh, transportation. Uh, it no means can serve a, a large population of a of, uh, city. So uh, for, for the case of city bike, um, the phase one, which is in, in the blue here, um, in, in the light blue is, is what kind of exists. Uh, the, the phase three expansion is what they're trying to expand um, to. Um, so it's 
fairly just covering the main parts of Manhattan and Brooklyn. So um, where we kind of need other modes of transportation or other types of transportation, bike lanes kind of help, um, cycle, uh, but bicycle parking kind of helps kind of augment that need. Um, also, uh, car cargo bikes aren't like available uh, for, for our bike share currently. So like if you want to carry large items, um, if, you, if you're a shipping company that wants to start using uh, a bike, um, then you're out of luck because the bicycle sharing company doesn't really help. So therefore, we kind of need to kind of um, map um, bicycle parking. So we have a really, um, really secure way to kind of or somewhat secure way to kind of lock our bikes. Um, and that kind of leads to um, like um, the, the, the other need um, because food delivery in New York City has been overly increasing. Um, the bicycle, like uh, the bicycle vendors have, have mainly been, the bicycle delivery workers have mainly been uh, like just pushed in the forefront because of all the traffic and congestion issues in New York City. So we, we have also seen an, uh, an increase of, of, those, uh, of those types of bicycle uh, uses and we kind of need uh, bicycle racks. So bicycle racks kind of provide a quick way of locking up when we travel around in the city. And uh, when bicycle racks aren't there, uh, there tends to be alternatives. Um, so in, in, in the first picture, just somebody just creating a, a DIY uh, place to kind of lock up their bikes while they're, they're in the restaurant. Um, some people lock their bikes on trees. And then um, when, when a bicycle rack is kind of full, um, you kind of overfill that bicycle rack and it becomes really hard to kind of um, take, um, take your bike at the end of the day um, because so you have probably have to wait for the other person to unlock their bike. So um, it can kind of get a mess if there's not enough bicycle parking. Bicycle parking also elevate up our commercial spaces, of course. Um, it allows for people to ride to a commercial space, pick up their lunch, and then go somewhere else. Or they can ride to the restaurant, eat at the restaurant, and then uh, go somewhere else. Um, again, um, they're important connectors. They provide uh, a sustainable means to um, use the bus, uh, subway, and ferry um, when um, a vehicle is not an option. Um, so we kind of get to uh, the uses in OSM. So uh, there has not been really a ton of uses of, uh, I mean, th there has been a lot of bicycle like routing um, software like Open tri tri uh, Trip Planner and Open Route Service, which has kind of been useful, but uh, like calculating multimodal is kind of fairly hard. So we kind of have to um, kind of figure that out. Uh, but I, I think clumping some APIs, I've tried playing around with some of these, um, but they have been kind of finicky for me to kind of uh, have like a switch from like bicycle to um, bus. And then I'm just going to continue on um, to, 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 to the main uh, part of this. Um, so uh, since we kind of want to really map um, these bicycle parking infrastructures because bicycle parking is, is a very uh, needed um, when you're traveling on a bicycle. Uh, we kind of partnered with the DOT, um, the Department of Transportation in New York City to kind of help them map bicycle, uh, bicycle parking. I'll show you why later on, but essentially their program kind of evolved um, in 1996 where, where it launched and they kind of installed a really old version of the racks, which was not very useful um, for, uh, for really bicycles to kind of park. Um, I, I think it's, you can only park two of them and then the center one is kind of really awkward. And then in uh, 2009, they had a design competition to kind of have a better kind of bicycle system. Um, and all this data was kind of mishappily imported to OSM, um, which kind of causes a ton of issues. But uh, over the years, this has been really uh, greatly increased, these bicycle racks. And essentially a DOT doesn't really know where the bicycle racks are just in really general locations. So we need, uh, because we need a growing need for better infrastructure, how do we find the data and what do we need to collect if the data is kind of bad? Um, so DOT has a data set on their open data platform, um, which is the bike racks data set. If you look into it, there's really a ton of useful um, kind of informations about it. Uh, there is like various congressional districts where uh, it is. So the address information, and then what, uh, yeah, and then like what type it is. So uh, the, the, the small loop, uh, the small hoop, large hoop, U racks and rave racks. And then now we get to, uh, to, to the amount of uh, uh, bicycle parking um, that was added onto the map. So you can see that DOT data set is actually uh, really comprehensive. 
in, 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 the, in the overview of where bike racks are in New York City. And then OSM is kind of sparsely um, trying to match all those points. Um, in OSM, um, we have a ton of those points because there was a major one-time import of like a ton of bike racks. Um, but most of these bike racks uh, fall in the middle of an intersection, I mean, in the middle of a street. So that kind of causes issues um, when you kind of look at somewhere in New York City and you see like a random bike rack in the middle of the road. Um, it's because of this one single import that kind of, um, that, that, that kind of added all these nodes um, in the middle of the street. Um, and then you can see over the years, it's been really stagnant. Um, but in 2017, uh, there's just been a really large push to kind of remap and also map new bike racks. Um, so you can see that uh, the, OSM, uh, the OSM bike racks are better placed if they're not imported from the original data set, the DOT data set. Um, but the DOT data set itself is, is very, very bad. So it's in the middle of the street, as you can see. Um, so um, to try to iterate, uh, to try to give you a bit of background of why we started use, to use OSM to kind of map, um, in 2019, uh, as part of Beta NYC's uh, and Co for America Brigade's National Day of Civic Hacking, we hosted uh, this event called Mobilities for All Abilities Hackathon. Um, and essentially, uh, we kind of tackled mapping uh, sidewalks and pedestrian ramps in New York City using uh, the, the tasking manager. Um, we kind of mapped, I think, a bunch of the city's uh, curb cuts and um, pedestrian ramps. So that, that was fairly cool. And we wanted to kind of apply that idea um, to the following year. Um, and and th this event we named uh, the Great Social Distant uh, Parking Bike Bicycle Parking Scavenger Hunt, uh, which kind of just uh, gave a bunch of people field papers where, uh, where essentially um, they kind of print out these grids and they kind of walk around with these field papers marking uh, where these bicycle parkings are, uh, how many, what's the capacity, what type of bicycle parking it is. Um, and th this was a very helpful community event to kind of brainstorm, hey, how can we kind of fix all these bicycle parking mistakes um, that was due to the imports and also add new bike racks that we're missing um, from the DOT data set. So uh, that brings us to um, uh, the, the, the bike rackathon um, that happened, uh, I guess, two months ago. Um, essentially, we kind of split folks into teams and we use fill papers also. Um, to kind of have people uh, interactively go to locations and then mark them on a piece of paper. I think some teams also went out and used a Go Map, uh, which kind of greatly improved uh, uh, like the speed of kind of mapping because for field papers, you gotta have to map it. Um, you gotta draw in the paper first and then you gotta scan it on, onto your computer and then digitize it on, on OSM or JOSM as, as a base map. All right, I think this moves on to the next thing uh, that we kind of want to kind of map in New York City because uh, bicycle parking is not the only uh, bicycle infrastructure out there. So one of the major things that we wanted to also map uh, New York City was uh, bicycle repair um, repair places and shops. Um, so Ariel, uh, I think you produced this map. So uh, the, this is, I think, the, the map of all the shops out there. If you want to jump in. Yeah, there's... Um... I forgot the exact number, but these are the bike shops and um, all the blank areas don't necessarily mean there aren't bike shops there. It's just where the OSM coverage kind of dies off. Um, there are a couple of tags that I actually found today um, that cover more detail about the bike shops, um, whether they have a public pump or uh, if they're just retail or some repair, like I know the shop closest to me doesn't do repairs. Um, they only build fancy custom new bikes. Um, that's kind of useful when you're on the go. Um, you get a flat tire or something and you don't have the ability to change it yourself. Um, yeah, <laughs> thanks. Um, these are the tags for those, those things. Um, so not, a, not every shop handles e-bikes. So that's also something useful to catalog. Yeah. So, so yeah, the, I guess there's, there's a ton of tags for uh, these bicycle repair shops and centers. So, so we have all that information that we can capture. Um, I'm also looking forward uh, to all the e-bike repair and charging places because a lot of, uh, a lot of the delivery workers kind of uh, need, well, a lot of the delivery workers have their set location of where they kind of re repair their bikes. 
But I think as we kind of uh, have much more e-bikes, e-scooters running around the city, um, there has to be probably be more maintenance, like mapping of the maintenance areas and also charging um, for areas. Uh, charging has been notorious, very scary for, for some New Yorkers. Uh, they, they've been previously blamed for building fires, like, oh, you left your bike charging in the building and uh, it causes a fire or whatnot. So uh, that's, that's fairly funny, but um, uh, I mean, it's kind of devastating sometimes, but um, yeah. Um, so, so we kind of really want to kind of map these uh, e-bike repair and charging places because uh, it's been su such ingrained into New York City almost that a lot of people kind of use e-bikes these days. Um, so if we look at kind of uh, the amount of e-bike e uh, areas in New York City, um, the surface e-bike e areas, um, there's only 52 of them mapped and then the charging station's only seven. So I, th I think uh, it has to be greatly improved. Um, but that kind of brings us to like a really complication uh, of, of what an e-bike, what a moped is, because um, there's a fine line of differentiation. And because of the fine line in New York City, um, you can do some certain things. You probably need a license um, uh, or you're kind of forced to be uh, out on the road or riding over a, a bridge in an unprotected uh, bike lane um, because you're classified as that. And I think OSM probably has moped class under something different too. Uh, uh, I'm not sure if it's well at, as defined as e-bike. So um, those are a couple of tags that we're, we've been trying to look into. Um, so as, as anything, uh, as anything I kind of do, um, I kind of look into if there's an open data set on what defines an e-bike store and how to kind of pull that information out because uh, New York City is so big, you can't really survey all the blocks to see if a new e-bike store has been opening. So uh, New York City and New York State kind of has uh, licenses for businesses. Um, so if you're selling secondhand items or you're, uh, or you're a tow truck company, you kind of have, have these licenses. And these licenses uh, usually have an address associated with them. So I was thinking, hey, why uh, can we pull out these addresses and kind of use that to help us map where these uh, e -bikes, new e-bike stores, bicycle, the regular bicycle stores are. So uh, uh, currently uh, there is no really defined way of doing that um, because it's kind of fairly hard to define these as electronic appliance service stores. Uh, the city doesn't really know what to define them as right now, but uh, here's a couple of data sets that I kind of found. Uh, and also uh, there is this uh, city regulation that all businesses that have uh, uh, bicycle delivery folks require them to have signage, but the city doesn't really track where the signage is. So um, this is something that I was kind of looking into. Um, in New York City, there's also something called dark stores. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's called some, something different up in other places, but essentially these are uh, like storefronts that uh, are like warehouses uh, where delivery folks kind of uh, use to kind of as, as a base to kind of hold their merchandise and then when someone orders on the app, they can kind of deliver it to, uh, to a place under 15 minutes. Uh, th there was a data set actually on, on, on these businesses because these businesses require to, ha to have a grocery license under the state. So I kind of made this, this map um, here um, for, for, for a council member that's fighting uh, against having these stores everywhere. Um, but th that, that's uh, a preview of like how I kind of use open data to kind of um, find um, locations. Um, and I think the last thing I want to kind of highlight is that safety is also important for bicycle uh, bicycle infrastructure. Um, I, I know we've been doing a ton of, of mapping of places where there's protected bike lanes and, and uh, shared, bi uh, shared bike lanes. Um, however, um, yeah, there's some dangerous intersections that we can also model in OSM, like uh, having like a crossing tag of unmarked and then probably uh, having other tags. Um, uh, on surfaces or whatnot. Um, so I think this concludes our, our random presentation on kind of bike parking, the bike press parking in New York City um, and also other stuff. So kind of end with this, um, yeah.